What is going on, Governors? Chiskool here, and today I've got a big stream. We're taking the RCF. I'm crafting on my restart. I'm crafting on my main. We got Holy Knight's treasure. We got the dig event. Bro, we got a lot to do today. Big shout out to our members and moderators. Deadly Sinner, Inferno, 54, 100, Chaser, and Mr. I'm High, Off Music, Torjor, TJ Boylan, Shelby, and Tricothian. What's up, man? Love the beard. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did you get your channel back? Is, is everything sorted now? Are we back, bro? Are we back? Now I gotta look. Dragothian. Hey, I think we're back. I think he's back. Is he back? Channel recovered? Eh, 910 videos. That looks recovered. Uh, almost recovered. This channel doesn't have any content yet. Hey, we'll get there. One step at a time. Good. This is good. Frodo OG, good to see you. Team Earth, Deadly Sinner. My man got it all back. Good. Praying for Drago to get his channel back. Yeah, I mean, bro, it, what an ordeal. What an ordeal. That's maybe a separate topic. Long story short, Drago got hacked. Sucks. Happens to the best of us. I mean, it just really sucks. It's like no way around it. But uh, a bunch of people came together, and I think he got the support he needed to get his channel back. It's big. But, also big, it's the contributions of our legendary guard. Let's go, that segue. Hey. Oh my God. Funny, that's funny. Can you say, oh God, Mist is a big noob. GG. Are we allying five, five, six? Bro, I can't, I don't even know. I'm not in Diplo. I'm not in Diplo. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Let's jump in game. All right. Here we go. The RCFs. In one hour and 16 minutes, this thing is going to crack open. And it's, you know, you know, the race to see who can get it done first or who will fail. There's always one war camp that seems to struggle. So it's pretty entertaining to watch. Get your popcorn. I hope we're not the ones that struggle, but hey. Hey, you know, uh, teams have come back after losing the RCF battle and uh, winning the KVK, so is what it is. I made sure to scout in advance, all right? So I got a good look here. I got a good look at all the RCFs around the map, baby. So we can have a peek, okay? All the RCFs here. I've scouted already all the zone fives that are going to be contentious in this KVK. And if you want to see fighting on this account, this is my restart account. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just because you're awesome, throw a like on the stream. Let's freaking go. They setting up a double over here. Oh, well, that fort's not going to finish in time. So probably not there to set up a double. And quite frankly, they don't need a double. Although not a lot of people will be able to port near there, but you can walk over. It's not that far. It's not that far. And so until the RCF opens, I have many things to entertain you and really me this morning. That includes Holy Knight's Treasure and Dig Event on the main account. Let's freaking go. So we got a lot to do. KVK on my main. Well, great news. We apparently queued up. So now it's in matchmaking. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Now, for those of you wondering how my tech is looking so far, I bought only the pop-up bundles. And it is way further along than I would have expected. And that's largely because of Crystal Quest. And also, Pau Karak is freaking... Ooh, a couple mil crystals? Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's hope we don't get no opponent found again, bruh. Bruh. My god. I guess I'll just speed this up, because I can. Feeling like I should just use some speed ups here. 
showing off for the stream. Busting out that one hour research speed. Dang. Now, as far as my tech goes, I have done pretty much the maximum PvE barbing tech that I can do at this point. And now I switch gears and go to all war tech. Okay. And the reason I did that is that, I mean, I plan to spend a lot of AP in this zone. Oh, dear God. I'm getting attacked at my resource point by one troop. GG. I guess that's one way to get home faster. Go one troop of gathering march. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, how do I get more wounded than he does? Dang it. I guess I'll recover. Maybe not emotionally, but I'll recover. Oh my god. Who's the new player in uh, 254? No way. We don't have a new player in 254, do we? It's funny. Everybody else is like, oh, you got a 400 million power player in your kingdom. I'm like, did we? We did? Is that so? <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm not even kidding. Let's go look. We get a 400 mil? Am I just getting trolled? Did this happen? Yeah. Emotional damage. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, man. Yup. Tech goes fast in KVK now. Sure does. Calcroc is 3 million crystals? God, it's so many I can't even keep track, bro. They're in TR? Really? You don't say. You heard the 400 million power player is Bunny's spawn? Wow. Oh. Bunny's lost a lot of power over the last couple KVKs, so, uh... Hold on. Open all crystal keys. Yo, if I... Dude, if I get an Ash of the Dawn, I'm instant crafting. 100%. Technically, it's refining. Okay, no Ash of the Dawn. Whatever. Uh, rankings? Individual power? Oh, dang! 412! Okay! 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 Okay. It's a lot of power. Use a few more of those. Message Rosen Cortex. If you want to come to 254, let's go. I guess technically, can we still ticket people? Is it too late to ticket people? Might be too late to ticket people now. Registered matchmaking. Can we still ticket people? I think, I think we might be locked. Anyways, kind of hype. Show that guy's stats, including deaths. Touche. Let's go look at those stats. Let's go look at those stats, shall we? That's Alliance Power. God, we have not recovered an Alliance Power. But also, everybody's spread out across a lot, a lot of Alliances right now for ARC registration. So it's you can't look at Alliance Power right now. Now is not the time. Uh, deaths, 26 million. So this is a younger account. Almost certainly. In fact, we can look at their number here, right? So they are 438, uh, 7476. Okay. So they're a 43 million, right? Whereas I'm a, what's my governor ID? 3 million. <laughs> so it's a much, much uh, younger account than mine. It's an eight-digit account. Two years old? We're locked. GG, we're locked. It's a two-and-a-half-year-old account. Are you sure? I got a seven-digit account over here. I'm practically... I guess I'm three-and-a-half years old now. Dang. They grow up so fast. Okay. Uh, I mean, what do y'all want to do first? Dig or hunt for history? Your choice. I don't care. You choose. What'll it be? Which first question? Dig? Wait, dig and hunt for history are the same thing. Dig and holy night. All right, we got this. We got this, chat. I should start drinking this caffeine I made for myself this morning. Hey. <laughs> oh, God. Where are we starting? Yeah.
People really like Dig. Okay. 55 45 here. Dig versus Holy Knight. This is the great race. Oh, Holy Knight now winning by 1%. 1% margin of victory here. 49% to 51%. I guess that's 2% margin of victory. Whatever. Get your vote in. Have an opinion. Oh. 52 to 48. Holy Knight over Dig. Okay. Yeah, I got my haircut. Let's go. We're still in like heavy quarantine protocols in my household for reasons. And like my wife cuts my hair, so. Oh man. GG. 55-45. Alright, I'm giving it 10 seconds and I'm closing down this poll. Get your opinion in now. It will forever go in the history books as the choice you made anonymously on the Chisco Gaming YouTube channel. Five, four, three, two, one. Holy Knight's treasure is the winner. We're doing both, so it's fine. But let's start with Holy Knight. The people have voted. We're doing both. It's gonna be okay, everybody. It's gonna be okay. We'll do both. Marriage goals and save money. I mean, you know, hey. Save money on every haircut, reinvest it all in the Rise of Kingdoms, I always say. Not really. Uh, crafting timer. Dude, I'm gonna put a timer up, but not for crafting. You are right that we should have a timer going. Timer is gonna be for the RCF, and the crafting will be before this point, actually. I'm basically gonna spend my jammies on... Holy Knight's treasure, when I am out of attempts for Holy Knights, then we'll go craft. Uh, and I think we're doing a Hope Cloak today. Hope Cloak sounds fun, yeah? That sounds fun to me. I'm into it. So let me get this time right. Uh, it's what? What is it? Like Like this time? This, this is when it is? Uh, nope. Need a little more time. A little more time. A little more time. Uh, oh. It's counting down. Okay timer the timer doesn't have an hour marker so it's like wrong i feel like we'll just live with this it's gonna count back up in a minute and it's gonna be okay i think we'll make it through what did i just finish will of the ancients alliance construction let's go Ooh, crystal quest i should have some qu crystal quest done now right what challenges builder why am I getting no credit for this quest? Wait, what do I not understand about this? Chat, help me. Why? Why? What? Participate in Alliance Building Construction for 200 minutes. Dude, I was just overnight in a one troop flag. What happened? Why did I get no credit? Help me out, chat. What's happening? I understand they're being very careful about... Uh, yeah, yeah, my entire family is immunocompromised, so we have to be really careful. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Your march has to leave the flag? It left the flag. Tasks take time to register. Maybe it needs to get home. Oh, it's still in there. Just kidding. I'm still in there. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. I got credit for some other building thing, though. Maybe because the gold pit finished. We got there! Hey, 007, welcome to the Honor Guard. Let's go, let's get those hype emojis for 007. Also, in a previous stream, we had more members join than I can possibly remember throughout my history in Rise of Kingdoms. We had 23 new members. Let's see what we can make happen. And Baba TC Ataturk is in the chat. My guy, how are you, man? Yo, can we get some hype emojis for Baba in the chat? Let's go. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. You remember when you popped in my stream? I think the last time you popped in my stream, you were like, look, Chiskul Nevsky is really good. He's like the best commander in the game, hands down. You remember that? I remember that. I think that was the last time you were in a stream. You were like, he's not maybe good. He's He is the best commander. He's like, not maybe the best commander. He is the best commander. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's freaking go. Looking forward to KVK. Hey, me too, man. I don't know what's going to happen. I blissfully do not participate in Diplo or Decisions Round when we queue for KVK. It's great. I'm just along for the ride, okay? How do I become a member? Uh, there's a link. 
Let me, let me give a link. Let me get the link going here. It'll pop in the chat in just a second. There are several tiers of membership ranging from the Honor Guard, which gets you the emoji, the badges, uh, your name in green, two bucks a month, GG easy. And see, look at that. When you become a member, you get a message you can send every month too. Special one. Redline, thanks for the 27 months, man, and the Elite Guard. Let's freaking go. In all the tiers above the Elite Guard, I actually have chat rooms in my Discord server, discord.gg slash chisschool. It's a good place to ask questions. Oh, dang. Drago, thanks for the super chat, man. You didn't need to. I appreciate you. Thanks so much, Shiss, for helping me through these last two days. Channel's recovered and should be right as rain soon. I'm really glad to hear that, Drago. Thank you, man. Thank you for the very generous super chat. I was happy to be able to help. And uh, if you haven't checked out Dragothian's channel, you should definitely go do that. Throw a like on there and subscribe. Things are on their way back to normal. Recovering from being hacked. GG, let's go. And is that Mathis? Mathis, welcome to the Honor Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis. For our... New Honor Guard member, let's freaking go. Tank, the stream's out of control already. Woo, okay, here we go. Man. Hashtag Drago 2024. You running for president, buddy? The Kowalski. Hey, welcome to the Elite Guard. Let's get those hype emojis for the Kowalski. And a search emoji. To see who becomes the next member of the channel. Let's freaking go. Respect Chiskel, big hearted dude. Hey, I mean, if I had gotten hacked and it could have just as easily have been me, I would really have hoped that people would have helped me out. So being hacked has to be the most stressful experience, bro. I can I was stressed on his behalf. Woo! We're going for a new daily membership record. I don't know. We got like 23 in the other stream. We're up to four, though. Four is pretty good. Sasuke, thank you for the 14 months. Epic guard. Can't wait for the week of carnage. Sunday, my mini is in Z6. Wednesday, we enter zone five. Yeah, so for those that don't know, this Wednesday, I'm going to be streaming. We're fighting some really, really tough kingdoms. Like, dang. <laughs> 1306 is looking stacked, man. Oh, and they're not the only kingdom in this war camp. It's going to be very difficult. It's it's going to be a tough KVK for those that want to see the full list on the board here. It's going to be left versus right. Or, well, yeah. Uh, my left, my right's a little weird. Everything's reversed. But you get the idea. So these war camps are allied. And the far side war camps are allied. I'm in 2293 fire camp in the upper left. You got some Chinese food on the way to celebrate, and then you're going to stream. Cheers, man. Nice. Did I see the new trailer for the House of Dragons? Oh, no, I haven't seen that. There are, wow, two Imperiums in this KVK. I didn't know 1185 is Imperium. Okay. When did that happen? Is that new? Did you guys just flip Imperium? Ooh, TS. Hey, what's up, dude? Cheers. What's good? Glad to hear everything's almost back to normal. Yeah, man. Um, I promised y'all hunt for history, but we're just having a damn good time today, which is also pretty cool. Let's make some siege units. I need to kill all these siege units. Also, I really want some more tier one siege units, but a KVK is not really the time to be making tier one siege, really. Do that in the off season. The reason for all that logic, by the way, is that you want to have troops finish so that you can turn them in for the bastion quests that require troop training, so you don't need to be using as many speed ups. You just you guys just flipped. Cool. Good stuff, man. Okay. The Holy Knight's treasure. Wait. Just kidding. Hold on. 
always be fogging. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Also, oh, I can't remember which scout was going up this way. I uh, hope it's that one. Okay, here we go. Why am I getting the gloves? Specifically for my infantry commanders. I need two of these still. Technically, need is a strong word because I have so many things higher priority than these gloves, but I want the materials. I want the patterns. So you can see here, here's one set. Okay. Here's another set. I need one glove. And here's another set where I need a glove and I need a boot. So we're going to start with gloves and go from there. And for what it's worth, I actually have 20 pick one glove patterns and four glove patterns already. So we'll see how much I actually need to do this. I might switch gears and go boots really quickly here. Let's uh, smash this out and see how we do, shall we? Get the uh, actual epic counter up on the screen again. Zero epics, zero legends so far. And honestly, like, I want the patterns, but if I got all materials, I would not be sad. I remember when this account was first created and she said he'd be free to play on it. Bro, I'm pretty sure that in my first week, I spent like $600 on this account. I used to keep track. I, I think what I said I would do is I would only spend what people donated and I would match dollar for dollar every dollar donated I would spend on the account. And I did that for like a couple weeks, maybe even a month. And like, we did some cool stuff with the account right at the start. It was very fun. Here we go. The Holy Knight's treasure. Free. Free. You, you can't beat that, can ya? You can't beat that, can ya? Aaron Jones, member for seven months of the Honor Guard. Hey, what's the advantage or disadvantage of migrating to a dead kingdom? No, the advantage is that you can win lots of Mightiest Governors. The disadvantage is that you will have probably a hyper-casual Ark of Osiris team. You will probably not have very exciting KVKs. So it's good for account growth, but bad for crazy experiences. I just stop now. You're not wrong. Like that's, we did it. That's pretty good. Okay, do I just switch to boots now? Do I just go boots? I have enough to make a pattern now. I mean, do I just go boots? Boots of the Serenity Emperor? I mean, uh, the thing is that for boot patterns, like I could always just make Shio's return, right? Is that crazy? I could always just make Shio's return. But I don't, I don't love Shio's. I, I don't love Shio's, you know? Like it's fine, but when you think about the fact that you're going to want a four-piece bonus, I think. Oh, God. Get that counter out of there. Right? You're either doing it with... I think the conventional way is weapon, helmet, gloves, boots. I guess... And then, you know... This is Eternal Knight. And this right over here becomes a Hope Cloak. Right? I do have a Shio's Return, right? I, I do have one. It's generally a fan of the four-piece, you know? Um, I think maybe I just keep going with gloves for now. And I can make two of them. It's a little weird. But I could always use the pick ones for something else. I'll just keep going gloves. Gloves are... Gloves are good. Right? Timer is for the RCF. Don't want to lose track of uh, when that is. And I'm going to have to walk my ass up there. So it's going to be a long way to go. Um, this counter back up here. No hope. Did I say Quince all over Hope Cloak? No, Hope Cloak's better. Hope Cloak's where I want to be. I just, you know, I, hey guys, guys, this is my restart account. My materials are not endless. 
I have way more patterns than I have materials. Right? Way more patterns than I have materials. The reason you go with the set gloves is purely for the two-piece bonus or the four-piece bonus, if that's what you're working toward. That's that's why you do gloves. And like, eh, maybe you hope you get a proc, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just, I just do this. Here we go. Weirdly enough, I'm not even going to change it up. Ooh, man, this is a good run so far. I mean, I've only done two spins, but whatever. It's still really good. Okay. Luck be a lady. Smash the like button, people, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. Okay. Best gems I've ever spent. Okay. Okay. Salty Cornflakes, thank you for the nine months in the Honor Guard. I get my farm in our next KVK. I'm happy. Let's go. Gotta have farms to have resources. Streamer luck, GG. I'm still on gloves. Yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna keep doing gloves for a little bit here. Because I need two gloves anyways. Here we go. We'll do it again. Here we go. Let's go. Six epics. Okay. Okay. This is going really well. This is very good. I'll take it. And I get the patterns here. Jeez. I mean. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Man. And I am I done? Did we do it? Am I just done with this pattern? <laughs> am I just done? Ah, <laughs> what? What? Okay. 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 Well. Am I just done? <laughs> WTF, I quit the game. Streamer lock, hacks. Yeah. This is not funny anymore. And we actually got the people who hacked Dragothian to go hack Lilith and to just give my account only special drops. Cheers. What on earth? Oh my god. Hey, if you are enjoying the live stream, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. I mean, let's go check my patterns. This is like unprecedented. I think I still need more to get two complete patterns, but it's actually just insane. So I'm up to 25 pick ones. And for this glove pattern, this was like really not the way to do this. Uh, I have 29, so I need six more, and then I'm just done with this. We're just done. We're just done. At that point, we're just done. Six more, and we're just done with inf gloves. Okay. Great. It's not like I'll get another 10 spot, will I? Will I? How long are the streams? I mean, it depends. They're usually a couple hours, unless I'm in KVK fighting, and then it's a different story entirely. 13 epics in total, three on board. It makes all these other like spins seem really tame compared to the ones we've just been getting. Okay, hey, three more epics, let's go. Let's freaking go. Claim this reward. GG. Smash the button. Come on. One epic and some sweet ups. Not bad. 
this is fine. Chizgul is going to be the first person to find a 20 spot. There have been people that have done multiple 10 spots in a single pull. It's actually insane. We'll time this one with the music. First time in my live stream. Hey, welcome to the stream. Really awkward timing for that verification. Really great job, verification. GG. Owned by verification. Oh, but it's still on the screen. Let's go. 20 epics in total now. Is your restart kingdom as well run as the other? Yes. It's a very well run kingdom. This is a very well run kingdom. Okay. Well, we keep going. I feel like I got... Like, all the legendaries pulled up front, which I'm good with. 21 epics now in total. I'm not even halfway through. I feel like I'm making out like a bandit. I know that I'm making out like a bandit. Okay. And. Smash the button. Three more epics. 24 in total. And the question is... Do I claim this reward now, or do I switch it up to give myself pick one boots? I could just claim this pattern and move on to boots that way. That's reasonable, right? What is this? We claim it. Six exactly. Great. I'm done with gloves. We're done with gloves, everybody. We did it. Now I think I go boots. Right? Right? We get the gloves, we go boots. Now, the thing is... Do I go boots here? It's a little weird, like... I guess I would make a boot pattern. I guess so. I'm just trying to think, like, it's not like I need some chess piece. Is I already got... This, this cav gear's done. This cav gear's done. I'm not... I don't need to touch this. This is done. It's beautiful. It's as done as can be. I have two hope cloaks already. I'll get hope cloaks from crystal keys or something. I don't need more hope cloak patterns, I think. I, I don't think I, I need a hope cloak pattern here. I can get that from crystal keys. Over time, value... Blah, blah, blah. I mean... I, I... I guess I go Boots. Mike, cheers. Boots is the only thing for you. And this is an infantry account. This is... In case it wasn't clear. This is an infantry account. Justin, thank you for the super chat, buddy. The OP hippo. Let's go. Get those emojis rolling. Can I do a free-to-play account? Man, I wish I had the time to do yet another account and make it free-to-play. If only I had the time. See, the thing about a free-to-play account is that you really need to put in the time. That's like, that's the goal. You're trading, you're trading a lot of time for value. You might want to get the Eternal Empire Shield to bump up that attack on Guan. Yeah, I mean, I can get... This is just chess pieces, boots, and gloves. I think I just go for these boots. And I mean, my plan for archers, by the way, is to make a full archer set here. And it's going to be the four-piece epic bonus and then the epic boots and then just have the epic weapon. Like, I, like, this is not an archer account, so that's a really low priority for me. Plus, like, there's an epic set bonus. Like, that's insane already. So, I guess infantry boots is where I'm at. I guess that's where I'm at. Okay, we do it. I mean, I can't think of any other piece that I need. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm always going to do Hope Cloaks. Like, I'm not trying to make the six-piece infantry bonus, right? All right. Let's do this thing. It's crazy. Like, I almost don't even need to do this, but I want the materials either way. So, confirming. Boots of the... Yep. Eternal Empire. Beautiful. And how many pick ones do I have? I have six pick ones. So 
Getting some pick one boot patterns would not be the worst. Here we go. Let's smash this thing, baby. Okay, the first ducky of the day. Hopefully not the first of many. Scout has returned to my city. Okay, welcome home, buddy. What do we got? Let's go. Okay. Up to 26 legends. That's one on board. Three epic materials on board. That's 27 epic materials in total. Let's freaking go. Smash the button. Uh, I am not going for Nebu on this account. There's one more of the boots, Pog. 27 legends. I'm not going for Nebu on this account because I'm just going to go straight to whatever the new archer is. If I had multiple archer marches that I wanted to field, it'd be a different story, but that's not the case here. Here we go. Even if uh, first of many, this is already amazing. Yeah, these are really good pulls, Hooksy. Epic blueprints are a win too for this account. You are right. Um, although I think I have enough epic blueprints to make a full archer set, but I will need more epic blueprints when I go to make a sixth march, maybe. I don't know if that's a thing I need to do on this account or not, to be determined. Let's go. Oh man, I am just raining in. Those legendaries, wow. Okay, 28 legends and 29 epics. I mean, you know it's good when you have almost as many legends as you do epics. Jeez. Should I spin the Wheel of Fortune or save my gems? Um, Wheel of Fortune, if, if it's a universal wheel, I think save your gems for Esong, right? I think there's universal wheels in the beginning of the game, isn't there? Is that still a thing? Save for Esong, save for Alexander the Great. Those are very good commanders. You proc both set boots in a row. Wow. Here we go. What do we got? Oh my god, every single time a legendary. Uh, wait. What did I just do? Did I just do something? I don't think so. I thought I was typing, and I don't think I did anything. 29 legends now, and... Did it? Wait, did it? Did I up my epic counter? I don't. I actually don't know if I changed anything. 32 epics? DNA Chiss School KVK3 is over. We're going to Season of Conquest. I'm a new player. I don't have a Season of Conquest commander. Which one should I work on first? Either CPO or Nevsky. Also, be sure to unlock Guan Yu. Definitely unlock Guan Yu. Definitely unlock XY. But if you needed to pump the brakes on XY, that's a lot of commanders, right? Like, the two most important... Or CPO and Nevsky. Counter is right. Thank you, chat. And I get some pick one boot patterns. No, I don't. That's just at the 100 tier. Just kidding. But 12 epic crates is actually amazing. I'll take that. I actually kind of prefer that. At this point, I have plenty of patterns and not enough materials. I'm really just doing Holy Knights for the materials at this point. Okay. One epic. 33 epics in total. 15 more chances is kind of amazing. What do we got? Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Uh, 41 legendaries total in this run. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay. Let's go. Guess I was overdue for some good luck. Woo! Um Do I even need more boot patterns or am I good now? <laughs> I don't remember. 
This is insane. I think I need more, but... Okay. Wow. I mean... That's really crazy. That's really crazy. Like, I... I don't even know, man. Guess I'll just keep going, Boots. Whatever. Illuminati confirmed. 100% Illuminati confirmed on the Chiscool Gaming YouTube channel. <laughs> Another one! Oh my god. 42 legends in total. 35 epics. Let's go. Throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. You were here when Chiscool pulled down 42 legends. You realize this is like every other poll I got like like I, I did, I'm gonna do 90 polls and get almost half as many legends like that's insane you were here Artemisia Monitori is great in the open field it's just not as good as it used to be since Nevsky is so strong and prevalent Okay. Four more epics puts us at 39 in total. I mean, that's a pretty good result. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This video is YouTube worthy. I should probably make a short of all those moments. That was insane. GG, well played, everybody. Nicely done. 39 epics, 42 legends. You know it's a good day when you get more legends than epics. But it is now time to get crafting. That is absolutely right. Whoa, what did I get? Why did I have so many quests done? Aha! Okay, now I finished the flag. Now I finished the flag, the one troop flag. Which means I should have a bunch of things done. Also, Crystal Quest. There it is. There we go. Crystal Quest. That was like barely any credit. Yay. I thought that was worth more, man. That was worth like no points. <laughs> what did I get? Like 20 points? I didn't even know they gave so few points. 40 points. Okay. Well, GG. Guess it was worth it. I mean, you know, didn't really cost me anything. Needed to do it anyways. And um, let's get my marches in position here. I mean, I'll leave this one because I don't want to leave a dirty node. It's going to be fine. 10 minutes. Yeah, I can make it. I can make it up there in time. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to go to this corner? Like, where am I supposed to go here? I have no clue. I want to help. Jeezy Pants reporting for duty here. But whatever, let's um start to march up here. I don't, I don't feel like Trajan Ethel's really where I want to be. But I have all my gear on that march, so I'm just going to run with it. March number two. Juan Sepio, Alex and CJ. Oh, and I need to wait for some marches to come home before I can send more. Cool. Bigfoot, thank you for the super chat. Do you mind sharing some of that streamer luck? You know, happy to share the luck and the love here. That was incredible. And um, let's do the crafting now, yeah? First, oh, wait, 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 Guan, come home. Come home, Guan. Run it, run it back, buddy. Run it back, run it back, run it back. I gotta go take a piece of equipment off him and dismantle it for the crafting. GG. Head back home, buddy. All right, buddy. We're going to shred one of these Quinn souls. 
And we'll take it off the guan. I'd rather this one be the souped up guan, you know? Okay, we're back. Take this off, remove. And just to confirm, we are forging a hope cloak. I've got the pattern and the materials already, but I am going to dismantle the Quinn's soul. That frees up a non-trivial amount of legendary materials. Technically, that's 15 in total, so I'll take it. Dismantle. Confirm. And now we forge. Now, since we're only doing a single forge here, okay, um, I feel like we don't necessarily need to crab rave, okay? Crab raving is fun, but let's just pick a song, let it random to a good song. We'll do this thing. I can't hear it. This song sounds like it's going to have a, a nice drop, right? Turn the volume up ever so slightly. Fifteen million gold. Dang it. All right, y'all ready for this? This song has a big lead time to the drop, so just give it a second. Okay? You gotta give it a minute. You use up a lot of materials. Give me a crit. Don't mess with me. Here we go. You ready? Let's go! Wow! Okay! What a day! Wow! Got him! Woo! Okay! Wow! Let's freaking go! Infantry account gets the Hope Cloak special talent first craft. This is the way. Oh man! Chad is calling for a post craft crab rave. <laughs> okay! Do it again? I don't think I have the materials to do it again. I don't think I have the materials to just run it back. Go buy a lottery ticket? You know, I might tell my wife, like, today is the day if you were ever just going to buy one lottery ticket. Like, why don't we just see how it goes? Because, like, okay? Wow. Seems good. Ooh. Seems real good. That's solid. Oh, and while we're here, while we're here, why don't we just make this MF or iconic? Yeah? Mark's Darkness. Thank you for the super chat. A crab rave celebration has been requested. Who am I to deny a $20 super chat for a crab rave? Okay. You got it, buddy. <laughs> let's let's let the song finish out and we'll do a crab rave. Iconic? Obviously. Yes. Yes. Happy Friday, iconic. Let's go. Yeah, the gold. Rip my gold, but hello, special talent. 
okay. I mean, seems good. Can I make more? Can I, can I do more? I don't even know now. Do I, do I try for, do I, I don't, wow. Okay. Uh, no. I, wow. I thought, for a second, I thought the only thing I could forge was that gray weapon. And I was like, well, I'm material broke, everybody. But no, I'm not material broke, actually. Actually, I'm not. Uh, but I do not have enough materials. Okay. Okay. Um, no thanks, love. Appreciate it. Livestream fairy was just coming down to visit. Grab rave. Crab rave. Hold. Hold. Type in crab. And. Now we chill. For those of you who have not been here for a crab rave before, this is a tradition that started almost entirely by accident. I played this song, put it in my playlist, really. Came up randomly. Chat lost their mind. And so it became a tradition. A tradition to bust out those crab claws. Even if you're out in public, but you know, manage your surroundings. And to just freaking chill, man. DJ Crab Ghoul, this is how it goes. Ooh. You should do a live stream where you match donations with in-game spending. I mean, I could do that. Anomaly cheers. This is a moment where you need to just not take yourself so seriously. And you'll find that if you do crab hands and look further than the screen right in front of your face for just a second, take a deep breath, you're actually gonna feel a lot better. It's remarkable how that works. Just look past my camera, away from the bright lights for a second, and just like we chill, we're chilling. Oh man, on the craft, baby. 11% chance for that to happen. Instantly iconic, that sucker. Easy. Okay. <sighs> DJ Crab Ghoul in the house. Yeah, I mean, what's not to love about that? What an outcome. I just went from 10.5% attack to 16% defense with an Iconic. Okay! Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah! Seems good. You just crit your dagger on the first craft? Congratulations, Andrew. That's amazing. Still months away to do what you did in like five minutes? You gotta keep in mind. Now, this account is like 900 days old. It's not as it is, it is, looks like it's instant, but this took a while. Okay, this took a while. Woo, okay. Thank you, Mark's Darkness, for sponsoring that crab rave. I appreciate you. Let's jump back to the playlist. Sasuke, thank you for the super chat. Keep a leadership set of revival or break it down. Try for special talent on shield and boots. It, I mean, are you using a leadership revival set right now? If you're not using it and you don't plan to anytime soon, I'm a fan of breaking stuff down. But if you plan to use it, I mean, obviously hang on to it. But if it's not actively being used, like and you're not going to use it in the future, then I think it's fine to shred it. I mean, you can see, like, the the only extra equipment I have on this account is, like, this blue and green weirdness for Canyon. And, like, okay, obviously I put that on to a man march when I'm fighting in KVK, but, you know, this is, like, Canyon stuff over here, you know? But epics are a lot of materials. And, like, if you have an epic set that you're not even using in Canyon, you're not going to use on any marches in the future... I think you break that down. 
Trajan, it's for Trajan 7th March. Who do you pair with Trajan? You use like Esau? Trajan Esau? Because it's revival set. So that's interesting. You do an Archers? I would not get rid of your 7th set if you're going to use 7 Marches. Let's run this over. Oh, that's a long walk. Okay. I'll get there in time. Barely. Barely. But we'll get there. I, I mean, I think I'm tapped on materials. It's conceivable I could make another Hope Cloak. But I'm also now kind of like... I get that more Hope Cloaks is like the best thing I could make. But now that I have one talented, it's like... Do I keep making Hope Cloaks or do I keep working on other things so I could end up with like one talented set, you know? I don't know what the answer is. But, I mean, there's certainly no way that I could dismantle my way into being able to um, craft a legendary that requires 60 legendary materials. So, and the reason I know that is that uh, boots and gloves would be 40 legendaries and like it's not giving me the option to make those so I can't dismantle my way into doing more crafting right now which means should I put another iconic on the guan should I should I iconic this helmet of the conqueror it's like kind of tempting to iconic the helm of the conqueror I got one more Iconic. I mean... Oh, it's tempting. I think I do want to Iconic what's on Guan. And the reason I'm not talking about Iconicing his gloves is that I'm going to make more gloves. I might talent those and then Iconic the talented ones, you know? But that's like a down-the-road thing. Hoopin, thank you for the super chat. Make your entire archer set this stream. Well, out of the materials for that. So I think my game plan is to make an archer march and set for my next KVK. I think that's my game plan. I do not plan on special talenting this Helm of the Conqueror. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But I got to put a talent somewhere or an iconic somewhere. Before the fighting happens. And like, where else would I put it? I already have two accessories iconic. I'm not going to do a third accessory. Yeah. I feel like armor is kind of where I want to be. Right? Well, you see this cortex? Ooh, that's nice looking. It's looking real good. So that's, that worked out right there. Ring. RCF is, yeah, like really, really, really soon. I got to run up my other march for that. Why helmet? So, although I'm not planning to talent that helmet, it is like the best helmet I have. And if I'm running this march, like if I'm making one really good infantry march to bring to the altar of darkness, I mean, I'm gonna put the best gear I've got on there, right? I mean, I guess technically I could go for the four-piece bonus. Technically. If I go for the four-piece bonus, though, I'm sacrificing the extra defense that's already on the helmet. You see what I mean? Like, I could do... Let me show you. This is the set I could do. Remove. Remove. This is the set I could make. 
right? Why not Iconic the Cav stuff? I mean, I could. Uh, the Cav stuff would be reasonable, but it's an infantry account. Right, so the, if I do it this way, I get 10% defense. And if I do it the other way, sorry, 10% defense, 10% march speed. I'm losing my mind. If I do it this way, I get 10% march speed. If I do it this way, I would get, what is it? 4% extra defense. I don't know. Go for the march speed. I mean, if I'm going for the march speed, which is reasonable, then maybe I just pump the brakes on this last iconic and I, I figure out where it goes. I'll think about it a little more. Like 4% defense or 10% march speed. Mm, the march speed's actually, like that's pretty compelling. Although, although, helmet, mm, I don't know. I got choices. But I think that march speed seems like a really good idea. Right, like one march is going to, this is going to be one march. I'm going to run that into the altar. And then the other march will be a Guan CPO. Obviously. And I think I would go for the march speed, bro. Defense over March speed? You think so? I mean, they're both really good. It's like hard to, hard to argue. And for those wondering like, hey, just cool, I want more crafting. I got great news for you. As soon as this finishes up, we go to my main account. We do the dig event. And then we craft on the main account as well. So we're not done yet. Thought we were done. Guan CPO has plenty of speed already. I kind of want to just drop the Iconic on here. I kind of just want to do it. March speed for infantry, 100%. Well, let's look at how fast my Guan CPO is, okay? Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. It's side by side with my cavalry march. Yeah, I mean, the calves are a hell of a lot faster. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, we're talking about over a minute and a half slower. I mean... But that's a long march. Like most fights in KVK, you're not marching that far. I mean, you're, you might be marching like this far. Right? And this is uh, still like a 16 second difference here. I get it. It's pretty meaningful. Juan drank a lot of energy drinks. <laughs> but also, I mean... Every second counts. Yeah, it's true. But if I were going to counter rally, I think I'm thinking about it wrong. If at some point I'm going to counter rally, like the march speed is really irrelevant, the KVK helmet is the way to go. So I think I should just do the KVK helmet. Because like, again, if I'm going to counter rally or something at some point, then like I, I need one killer infantry set and I'm not getting that with the set helmet compared to the KVK helmet. So I think you just do KVK helmet. Do we agree? I don't need March Speed for rallying. Do it for shits and giggles, Creepy R. Kelly. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the super chat. Guan Yu says the Guan CPO is pretty fast. Seriously, Guan Yu's in the chat. It's happening. I, yeah. I, I should... I should not optimize for field fighting. I should optimize for the possibility of a counter rally at some point in my future. So I think we just do the KVK helmet. 
It increased my base defense. That's very valuable. I'm still going to use this in KVK. It's going to be very valuable. It's iconic, baby. Let's go. Yet another iconic. Boom. Optimizing for the Altar of Darkness is the wrong optimization. I think that is correct. Okay. Hey, it's looking good. It's looking good. Woo, boy. Now, keep in mind, this is my canyon configuration. My KVK configuration, I actually kind of just messed up a bunch, but it's probably more like this. That's probably more what my KVK configuration looks like. I do have eight accessories. It's just some of them are march speed related for KVK, you know? But I do have four marches I plan to use. And I have eight accessories, so I need a combat rune. Ooh, yeah, march speed and attack. Obviously, I needed to get that sooner, so I'm marching myself up here. Can I have your secondary account? No, no account giveaways today. I don't think I've ever done an account giveaway. Technically, that's against terms of service, so <laughs> GG. Live in the field. Live and die by the sword in the field. Simplify graphics. Ugh. Explanation of why Lilith closed the Heroic Anthem map on registration for certain kingdoms. I think that they just want to make people try new KBK formats. Should I max Esong even if I am not an Archer Civ? Yeah, Esong's really good. I think the reason to consider not maxing Esong is if you want to hoard like a madman for Season of Conquest. You're basically sacrificing the early game under the assumption you will still be playing in the late game. Um, I can't show this comment because it's got a little bit of cursing in it, but I will address it because I think it's otherwise a fair comment. You're in Strife right now, and, uh, yes. Strife is basically non-stop fighting. Strife is the right word to describe the Strife of the Eight. Strife is what you will feel. It's, like, really the most aptly named KVK format. You salad in XY last KVK, Saladin's 5551. Cool. Now your Nevsky's 5531. Yeah, do it. Nevsky with XY. Great choice. And you still can use Saladin with like another commander. Like super reasonable. 10 minutes, everybody. My timer's a little fast over here so that I don't get caught, you know, not paying attention be super awkward but speaking of which let's go not pay attention for a minute and we'll jump over to my main account and just get ready to do the dig event we'll just get ready for this okay a couple things need to happen to be ready for dig one of them is that i need to buy the bundle so let's get that started Bend the blockers up and ample archaeology. Here we come. I have Alex Max. Should I go for 5551 five, Herald or 5155 five, five, CPO? Oh, you definitely should go for the CPO. 100%. And if you did Herald, I mean. Yeah, I mean, if you did Herald, you need to max the fourth skill, but you shouldn't do Herald. Do Sepia. That's like 100% the right play. You can't buy anything because of a glitch where it exits the tab? So weird. I mean, have you tried installing the PC version and just do your purchasing there? 
I got my Nevsky 5552 and CPO summon. Should I max Nevsky? Or CPO 5511 before KVK? Man, that's tough. I generally advise that you focus and pick one. Um, but if you manage of having CPO in your lineup, is that like, hey, CPO is really good. Now, wait a minute. I think the stream blipped for a second. Are we good? We back? We good? I saw that blip on my end too, which is weird because I don't normally see it. But I saw my OBS reporting like the red. So I saw on my end, it was like stream health, big time aft. I saw that and I was like, uh, and then it just went straight back to green. Don't know why. Blame YouTube and not the internet. So I think it's my end though. Like I'm, I'm very happy to blame YouTube or the internet if I think that's what it is. But I actually think that was a problem on my PC based off of the fact that OBS reported the error and my connection on YouTube has been healthy, I think, the entire time. I can look at a history of my stream health. Yeah, no data. YouTube is currently not receiving data for this stream. I mean, there was a brief moment where, like, it all just pooped out. Also, that happened at 11, 11. Interesting. It happened twice, this stream, for some reason. Time for a new PC. I mean, bro, it's a pretty good PC. But I do need to look into perhaps what period periodic operations the PC is doing. Weird. We got five minutes until this starts up. I don't want to miss it. So we'll just talk about what we're going to do. In Hunt for History, we are going to go for some cab chest piece action here. Uh, it's the occult floor. This is what we're going for. And the reason is that we are finishing my second cav set, hopefully. I know, my second cav set. I'm one refine away from finishing this. The only reason I haven't done it is that I'm hoping I get an Ash of the Dawn from a Crystal Key. But once the KVK fighting is about to start, I'll just pull the trigger and use my pick ones. And then we're going to work on this. Armor of the Hellish Wasteland. Okay. Let's go uh, freaking crush this RCF and then we'll go craft on my main, yeah? Oh, I feel really good about my equipment choices on my restart right now. It's looking... Like, really, really, really good. What I would have done on this account, if we weren't literally about to get archers, is take Nebu to 5511, and then make a set of archer gear. But, like, we're about to get brand new archers, bro. This is, this is good. It's very good. Love it. What a set, man. Gr um... Grieger, either choice is good. There's like pros and cons to maxing this the Nevsky versus having Nevsky and CPO. There's not there's not really a bad answer. 
But, but you do want to max both those commanders eventually. That's the real thing. What should I start working on? Archer gear. Now in KVK2, you have zero archer gear. When you're ready to make an archer march. I'm going into strife with 300 million gold. Yeah, I have gold problems. All my resources are grass-fed, organic, properly farmed resources. There's no, there's no purchased resources. So, um, you know, from like a resource seller. I mean, obviously, I get resource tokens when I buy bundles, but. It's going to be interesting. I'll just say that I have a lot of resource tokens from all the spending I've done. And my farm has a fair amount of gold as well. But it's not it's not great. It's not a good situation. I have more gold. And then I trained for Mightiest Governor to unlock Flavius, which like worth it. I'm probably just going to spend a lot more time garrisoning than field fighting in this KVK, which I mean, you've seen my infantry set. Like, I need to be garrisoning. I really want to help, but I feel like my marches are more likely to just get in the way with this RCF capture. Um, presumably this alliance is full. Yeah, it's a hundred percent full. Hey Chase, how's it going? Would I change any of these marches? Alex and Sun Tzu, Saladin and William, Nevsky and Minna. That's amazing. Wouldn't change a thing. Get CPO. But what otherwise wouldn't change a thing. It's good. Rody, cheers. Hi, how are you? Join the rally. I'm right next to the RCF. Um, so, are we doubling it? I think, I don't think any coalition, you must have joined the alliance. I can't get in there. Oh, there you are. Are we touching it? Is our coalition territory touching it? I don't, I didn't think so. Uh, if we're rallying it, I guess I can get in the rally. I don't think we can rally it. But you're rallying a barb fort. Wait. Is that right? You're right here. Oh yeah, you are really far from my city. That's true. No, I gotta... Dude, I gotta keep my marches healthy to help with this. Although I think it's gonna be fine. Like, it looks like we got the bodies here. That I'm not gonna be needed. Just I hope you're doing well. Is a five 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 one Nevsky and William okay for first season conquest? It's not just okay; it's freaking amazing. Nevsky Williams, freaking great, bro. Love it. Great choices. I want to invest in William. Is Sip going to get the first capture? No. I think SK is getting the first capture in their coalition. Which is why I think the majority of people that are helping actually switched alliances already. That's fine. I don't I don't particularly need the the rewards. I mean they're nice, obviously, but you know, they're going to people. So as long as there's no empty spaces, that's fine. What Yo. Do these guys know? Wait, do they know? 
Do they know the RCF is open? Okay. Do they know? Did somebody let them know? You love to see when an enemy war camp is not taking the RCF at the start. Okay, everybody else knows. They got the memo. I bet you they scheduled a time, though. I bet you they scheduled a different time to do it. I think this is, like, middle of the night for them. On, like, a Friday night. Yeah, it's probably just a bad time for them. They probably scheduled a time. If I had to guess. That's just my guess. They're in downtime. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Which is better, 5211 Pella or Pella? Whoa, 5211 Mina with Pelagius or Pelagius with Belly? All purple equipment? Oh, man. I, I mean, I'd probably do the Mina. It'll make you slightly less of a target than just having an Epic as the primary. Dude, this is a good song. This rally should land, like... If it lands with, with the music, that'd be sick. It isn't landing with the music. Where's the rally? It's gotta be on its way soon. Lucky Charms! Thank you for the Super Chat working on five Archer Marches. Who's best with Tommy? I mean, you're not gonna like my answer, but it's Honda Tadakatsu. But a more reasonable combination would be, like... Gilga, Tommy, Nebu, Tommy, Ram, Tommy, Artie, Tommy. Like, you got a lot of really fine options here. Um, you're probably deploy- You're probably deploying, like, Nebu and all those other commanders. It, it all depends on what other pairs you're running. But I think what we learned from Ark of Osiris League is that really, like, just use Tommy and anywhere you use her is good, but, like, I would say probably Ramses is most likely to be an available commander for you. Or you're probably using Monitoria and Artemisia together. So I wouldn't break that up. Here we go! Now it's time with the music. Let's freaking go. That's actually pretty good. Okay, okay. Double rally. It's a double. Minamoto's a bit of a rep. This is not a barbarian, but whatever. I think with a double rally, it's going to be perfectly fine. We're going to kill this thing too fast, actually. It's going to be hard to kill the ads fast enough. There are the ads. Woo! Woo hoo! Okay. Yeah, they got to deal with these ads. I'm just going to get myself killed running in the middle of all them. Oh my god, that AoE. What the hell? They got this, right? Oh, that AoE, though. Okay. God help me with my repair bill. Oh, they don't need help. They got this, bro. They got this. They got this. They got this. I'm just going to get in the way. Woo! Wow. We did that pretty fast. GG. Easy. I didn't even need to be here. How about the other alliances and kingdoms? How are they doing? How are our allies doing? All right. Allies almost got it. Let's go. Lohar spotted. Let's go. Allies nailed it. Okay. Okay. Love to see it. Enemies. Still working the problem. Okay. 
Oh, God. Double C rally. They did not get the memo. Oh, we are in for a treat. Uh-oh. Okay, this is about to get interesting. Oh, boy. Double C primary. They are in trouble. They might think they might they might get it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the Lohar primary was less sus than a double C primary for an RCF rally. Guys, the RCF is not a barbarian. I learned that the hard way. I think they'll be okay. But like that is missing some DPS. Yeah, it's a Mina CC and SOC. That's right. And if that wasn't too many acronyms, I'm sorry. No, we gotta watch this. We gotta watch this. We gotta watch this. Oh wow, dude, they took it. They took it. Dude, they showed up out of nowhere and they took it. Okay, upper right took it. Oh, these guys need DPS really badly, man. They're on the clock here. They got like five minutes total to knock this thing out. I don't think they're going to run out of time. They may as well swarm it. I don't think it actually heals when it kills troops. So like, yeah, I think you can just crazy swarm it. And they need to. They don't have enough damage. Dude, I think, I think they are in trouble. Uh-oh. Bar yes. Passes are barbarians. The RCF is not a barbarian. And even if it was, you should never use a double C primary instead of Minamoto to be rallying. Minamoto should be primary. If you're using double C with Ethel Fled, Ethel Fled should be the primary. Yeah, XY Nevsky would be your top tier rally choice for this thing. But even like Con William would be fine. Or are they memeing? We joked and we're talking about memeing with uh, XY and uh, Dragon Lancer. We decided not to, but I think we could have and it would have been fine. Oh, man. Oh, God. Look at this rally join. Dude, look at this. Look at this far rally join. Holy God. That rally is in trouble. Bring in T4 into the rally. Dear God, that thing got melted on the way over. Oh my God. These guys are in trouble. It's probably just BM to spam scout this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna promote that. These guys, these guys are in trouble. Here comes the next wave of ads. I'm not worried about whether or not they could kill it if they had infinite time. I'm worried because they don't have infinite time. So now, basically, the damage to the RCF is reduced by, like, 90%. Like, it's... I think. I, I might be misremembering, but I think the RCF damage taken is reduced until they kill the adds. So they urgently need to kill these adds, and then they just need to stupid swarm this thing and hope for the best. All right, they gotta just stupid swarm it, I think. Or they're just gonna lose. I think. Bro, I don't know. I think it's going to enrage. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. It enraged. Oh, GG. Healed all the way back. GG. Oh, no. That's a big rep. That's a GG. Too slow. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's, ooh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, Nevsky Minna would be great. I thought it would enrage and kill them, but I guess it just heals back to full instead. That's the same effect. Well, I'm sure if they rally it again, they'll get it no problem. Oh, trade in all this worthless stone. Feels good, man. Feels good, man.
Pie chest, good stream. Cheers. All right. They'll, they'll take another shot at that. It's going to take them four minutes to get that rally loaded and ready to go. How did these guys... Dude, they had like two players on the field. Somehow these guys had like two players on the field and they managed to get their RCF. I'm definitely worried about fighting this war camp. They are going to be really difficult. They, these guys are going to be really tough. Not going to lie. That's, that's going to be very difficult. I don't know what to make of that. Okay. Let's get out your popcorn. We'll watch them do this again. Meanwhile... I think I can refresh my defense in Lost Canyon now that I put some better gear on. And by put some better gear on, I mean crafted some sick gear. Good God. I can't believe I get any defensive holds with my Canyon lineup, but I guess it's better than I give it credit for. Uh, I don't... Oh, Jesus. XY Honda? Dude, how are you supposed to beat this lineup? Like, we just got the season of Conquest, bro. Bruh. Oh, well, they do have their Nevsky William in, like, completely the wrong place. They do have their Nevsky William, like, 100% in the wrong place. I mean... God, their Canyon team could be so much better if they did this right. I don't think I can win, though. What is that? Trajan... Trajan and who? I don't think I can beat this. I think it'd be kind of dumb for me to try. But I'm feeling kind of dumb right now. So what the hell? Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, dude. Their Nebu actually is... Their Nebu Isong positioned disastrously for me. Sasuke, thank you for the super chat. As an infantry player, do I see if I can get enough coins for a season of conquest shop skin or do materials and unis? Oh, yeah. He's definitely going to beat me. Oh, yeah, man. I can't compete with all those max commanders. Woo. This is... Uh, I mean, I'm doing decently, but only because he positioned completely wrong with his defense. But yeah, I didn't think I could win. I think getting a city theme is not so important for an infantry focused player from the Season of Conquest shop. You're better off with just materials and uni heads and patterns, really, blueprints. And if you don't need any more blueprints, then just get materials, right? I figure it's more entertaining if I try to challenge a difficult team than if I just like take a team I think I can beat. Oh! Hold on, hold on, we're missing it. Round two, bro. Oh, we're not missing anything. GG. Okay. They're still probably sorting out what the heck they're going to rally with. My Apple gear is god-awful, bro. Yeah, because, obviously, Canyon is not important, right? So, like, this is just, like, some leftover stuff. Uh, well, oh, of course, that is the exception that's in my actual murder ball lineup. But I have that equipped to my back lane instead of my front lane because back lane should live longer, right? Dude, I'm actually pretty happy with our RCF capture. Like, we freaking smoked that thing. We smoked that RCF. Good God, man, that thing dropped fast. So yeah, hopefully Sasuke that answered uh, your question there. Ginger Snowman said, challenge me in Canyon. Well, I've been avoiding uh, challenging, you know, our allies wherever possible in Canyon. 
How'd the crafting go? Oh, man. Pretty good. Boom. Pretty good. Seems good, man. How much do I have to pay for the song to be removed from the playlist? GG. I don't even know what song it was. So now I couldn't even find it if I wanted to. I drink tea. Coffee just gets me jittery. It just doesn't work for me. 1254 should just max swarm the RCF all with XY Nevsky. That's funny. It might work. Should I go for Twilight Falls or Divine Abode as a Cav player? Or just keep buying the blueprints? Um, I think Twilight Falls is a super reasonable pickup. For a Cav player, that's a pretty solid pickup. I mean, Sasuke, you could theoretically go for a Persian Dream, but like... I don't know, 5% infantry health on a basic city theme seems pretty good to me, don't you think? Compared to 3% defense and 3% healing speed? I, I just don't think that's worth. I'm probably just gonna buy these material crates myself. Call it a day. They are gonna rally this, right? Persian Dream is considered to be an epic quality skin I would skip altogether. Rip. Low Harmina Rally, Ultra Memeing. Oh my god, it's taken like 20 minutes for my troops to return home, and but they're getting home before they've taken this RCF. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out my gatherers, I guess. I guess. Just like get to gathering again. <laughs> like, I don't know. I need the gold. God, I, I've like burned through 200 million gold just crafting. I haven't even fought yet. I've burned through like 200 million gold. Where's this march? Oh, yeah. But dude, Trajan Ethel's a little slow. But actually here though? No? Yeah, it's a lot closer. But where is it? What the heck? How am I supposed to control the march? What if I do this? You have to update the position now, right? Oh yeah, okay, we're almost home. GG. It's kind of awkward. What commander's best for taking out barbarians? Minamoto? Any comment on the upcoming 1254 KVK? No comment yet. Oh, we got a live stream visitor. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey kiddo. Dad, can, can we all run, all of us? You wanna go run around the tripod for the camera? Yeah? What do you have for lunch? The pizza. Pizza, wow. You gonna say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Oh, that's very cute. All right, do you wanna wish these guys good luck? Good luck. Good luck. There you go. They got a much better choice this time around. <laughs> XY Nevsky, okay. Let's go. I think they got it easy this time. I'm holding it. Yes, you are holding the microphone. It's nap time, you're whispering? Yeah, she's, she's whispering it's nap time.
You having fun watching? Yeah. You see her little hand on the microphone here. I don't understand it. This wasn't the plan. Don't want to demand it. I don't want to play your microphone. Now you're holding it. Be very careful, very gentle. You got new books? She goes. Fix this microphone real quick. The guy pipe my yeah. I think these guys got it no problem now. Welcome back, Team Earth. I don't like to leave things all as all. Maybe it's madness. I'm begging you, please. Because Will you let her be an infantry, archer, or cavalry man? She can choose whatever she wants. She can she can be whatever she wants when she grows up. I let her run around the tripod. Dude, she loves it. Just run circles around the camera stand. It's weird. Siege metapoggers. That's what she wants. They definitely got it this time. Leave this place while you still can. Now they gotta kill the ads. Damage on the RCF is nearly frozen. If I, oh, I mean, they're doing a lot of damage still. With all those swarmers. Ads or not, they got it. There we go, they did it. Should let Chisco Mini run my accounts? Uh, I don't know about that. Let's go do uh, Hunt for History on the main, shall we? Um, people wanted to see the honor rankings earlier, so before we go... My individual rank is 252 currently. I am 17th in my alliance. Our coalition is currently third. But our war camp is currently first. So we are first and we are also fourth for honor right now. Our allies are water camp. I need to go visit Finland. Okay. That was fun. Switch it up. I have no clue who we're allying with on my main account. Genuinely, I, I don't know. Have not been involved. Gold node? Oh, heck yeah. I must be, like, timing that kind of perfectly with the respawn of these gold nodes. Let's go. Love to see it. Kind of need some resources pretty badly on my main account for this KVK. Gonna be a little awkward. Okay. Dude, I don't need wood. Just gather what I need here. There we go. Food's good. Okay. Let's 
Let's just uh, double check my pattern inventory here. Ooh, thank you, self high five for the gold chest. 15 hours of speed ups. Let's go. Chapo, thanks for the defense token. Somebody gave me 100 gems. Let's go. Can we get Cortex on voice? I mean... I can pop in recording. Let's see if he jumps in. Okay. Confirming my pattern availability. I have no cab chests. I have four pick ones. So, yeah. To do this, I gotta get a lot of patterns. Let's get started, shall we? Hunt for history. Material crates. Let's get to digging, shall we? What will the next Zenith be? I don't know, man. There was a time where I would have guessed. Oh, God. Corner strategy. Definitely not working out. Very awkward. Dig. Let's go. Mid, says Mr. I'm high off music. Boom! Corner strategy! Four hammers. This is what you want to see. Four hammers is what you want to see. 100%. Now, I could always spend gems to get more hammers, so... I feel like I'm in a pretty comfortable spot for this exercise today, but... Oh, hey! Corner strategy again. Very good. That was 11 hammers? Okay. Good. Dig. Corner strat. Corners, 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 corners. Corner strategy. Let's go. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hammers. Okay. Let's go. Cavalry chest piece. Here it is. Dig. Corner strat, please. Okay, gold and stone is fine. Bone and leather. Oh, boy. Oh, God. It's getting bad. Okay. Couldn't get much worse. Uh, where am I going? Left or right? Left or right? GG. Pulls up. Make your vote. Also, consider throwing a like on the stream if you're having a good time and subscribing. The Rise of Kingdoms videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies. Okay, vote is ending. Left it is. Oh, God, it's right. GG. Well, right is right, says Max. True. True. True, rip hammers. Okay, well, let's uh, get back to it, shall we? Epic crates. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yikes. Mega yikes. I'm kind of happy about all these crystal keys. Hey, corner strategy working out. That's like 12 or 13 hammers, right? Let's go. Corner strats uh, serving me well. This is a pretty good burn rate of my hammers. With the exception of some of the really terrible floors. So I guess I'm averaging out, actually. Hey, corner strat, 12 hammers. Let's go. Corner strat. Try one auto. No, I'm all in corner strat. Corner strat, three hammers. This is the way. Dude. This is the way. Come on. One shot! Boom! Okay! Sure! 
One hammer, one epic crate. I, you take those wins. You take those wins. Corner strat. Uh oh. Oh god. Corner strat. Why are you failing me on these rounds? Okay, and that was actually could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. That was like 16 hammers. That's perfectly fine. 16 hammers is perfectly fine. I am going to have enough hammers to do what I want to do here. Let's freaking keep going, shall we? Here we go. Corners. Okay, corner strat, not working. Middle, bottom, top, bottom, top. Uh-oh. Okay, where are we going, chats? Left? <laughs> right. All right. Pulls up. Where are we going? A little bit wrecked here, a little bit wrecked. You decide. Maybe just should visit Finland and Sweden. I mean, chat is all about left today. 62% left, 38% right. Left? Oh, we got there. I'll cheer for that. Victory, it's, it's a victory for the chat. Chat has obtained a victory. We cheer for that. Okay. Let's go. Corner strat. Different corners than I normally start with. Okay. Didn't, didn't really change anything. Oh, God. This is going really poorly. Bottom. Top. Oh. Uh, Bro. 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 This time I'm going right. Son of a gun. 26 hammers? God. GG. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. What are the odds, man? Have the exact same spot, practically? Okay. It's like those two spots over and over. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Six, seven, eight, nine hammers. Nine hammers. Nine hammers is good. Nine hammers is where you want to be. Big. One shot! Boom! Dude, 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 dude. That was good, that was good, that was good. One hammer offsets the uh, terrible floors we had. Okay. And chest piece. Calves. Let's go. Cav gear, pog. Corner. Corner, 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 corners. Corner strats. Bottom left corner's been, like, really good to me this uh, run today, but... Oh, God, this floor is wrecking me. Okay, sure. 22 hammers. 22 hammers, everybody. Why not? Let's dig. Corners. Oh, that was good. I had an instinct. It just kind of felt right to hit that upper right corner there. Seven hammers. Seven Hammers is freaking winning. Let's go, chat. We're doing it today. To the moon. Here we are. Corner. Corner, corner, corner. Corner, corner. Okay, crystal key. Corners. Regular corners. Okay. Okay, middle, bottom, top, top. Could be worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots left. This has like 18 Hammers. Okay. Here we go, dig. Corner. No. Okay. A lot of crystal keys out of all this. If I get Ash of the Dawn, I'm going to instant refine. Middle, bottom, top. Awkward. Bottom. Top. Left. Right. Okay. 24 hammers. GG. Here we go. Dig. 
We're almost there, chat. We almost got this. Corners. Top corners. Middle. Bottom. Top. Bottom. Top. Oh my god. Not again. Chat, not again. Not again! Okay, well, here we are again. Here we are again, chat. Here we are again. On the verge of 26 hammers. Okay, votes up. Where am I going? Save me from myself. Yeah, I know. Like, I get these crazy lucky floors and then I get crazy wrecked. Chat, it's 52 to 48% in favor of left. Now's your final opportunity to vote here. What's it going to be? Be heard. 53% left. 136 votes. Last chance. 146 votes. Last chance. Oh my god, it's 50-50 and I hit end poll. Oh! Technically, it's 50% left and 49% right. So it's like a fraction of a percent above 50% for left. So we're going left. Oh, boom! Let's go. Victory for the chat is a victory for everybody. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What a world, bruh. Cavalry gear. Word Eddie chat. Thank you for the super chat. F's in the chat for anticipation of boots or gloves in egg. And they give us weapons and accessories. Yeah, dude, weapons accessories is kind of like worst. So that's like worst case right there. How you doing, Word Eddie chat? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. three hammers. Let's go. Not sure if you saw earlier, I had some pretty good crafting on my restart, not gonna lie. Okay. Sick. Well. Do we just do this right now? Do we just fire this off? Just do it? No ceremony? We already crab raved earlier in the stream. I'm pretty sure the drop's about to happen. <laughs> That's pretty bad. F's in the chat. GG, everybody. Uh, it's pretty bad. Well, you win some and you lose some. Plus 25. Ward Eddie chat. I'll show you what I crafted in just a second, brother. I'll show you. Showing better than telling on this one. Appreciate the super chat. Let's show you. Um, Before I do that real quick. Let's go spend all those crystal keys we just pulled down and hope that I get an Ash of the Dawn. We will instant refine if I get Ash of the Dawn. No Ash. I kind of didn't expect to get an Ash. Um, uh, My cat gear is getting pretty good over here, though. Let me show you what I made. So on my restart, very sad. Yeah, sadness. Such sadness. TJ, cheers. Okay. Uh, here's what I made. <laughs> this is on my restart, obviously, but hey. Fresh craft, got the crit, 
dropped an iconic on it. GG easy. So set's looking decent. You know, it's my restart. But it's pretty good for my restart. Hope Cloak, baby. It talented and I was like, Iconic goes on. G just right away. Iconic goes right on there. Restart's looking more like a main account these days. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good when new archers roll around. Then I'll start to... It's going to start to feel like a main account. For sure. I mean, at that point, it's going to have a lot of meta commanders. I'll still be missing a few, but... Hope Cloak equals Giga Chad, my favorite piece of equipment of all time. It's a real... I mean, I went from 10.5% attack to 16% defense and 4 infantry defense base stats. This squad is insane. Well, you know, uh, thank you again for the, the super chat, man. If you want to see a, a truly insane Guan, since you, you're asking... You sort of asked. You didn't exactly ask. Because this is like iPhone owners. They kind of, you know, how do you know they have an iPhone? They tell you. Uh, but, you know, he, he, here's my really good infantry set. Right here. <laughs> uh, GG. Who should be primary? Alex or Harold? I would say Harold primary. Flex school. <laughs> yeah. Flex school, not gonna lie. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. See legendary guard chat. I have a hope cloak problem. That's just not fair. Yeah, this is how I plan to garrison in the next KVK. Oh, it's pretty good. Let me look at legendary guard chat. Um, legendary guard. Oh, yeah, wow. Here, hold on. I'll share this picture with everybody. Everybody can see this. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Give me a sec. Oh, I keep going to 254's Discord instead of my own. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> That's War Daddy Chad's Hope Cloaks. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. No Iconic on the helmet? Not yet. Soon. The leadership still makes me throw up? Why? Are you not using Trajan? You're using him, right? So many materials. I would love to have an excuse to go make a leadership set of gear so that I could have a like, better canyon lineup. Lol. But there's not really a good reason for me to do that right now. There's really not. A, this does not. I'm going to finish my second cav set. Okay, and then maybe I'll, I'll decide at that point if I make an infantry set or a leadership set. Or try to talent some accessories. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I got some pretty good sets of gear here. Folks that didn't know. Like, it's... It's pretty good. Just in your restart, will you expertise Leo right away when you get him? Will you stop at 5551 so you can use CPO somewhere else? Or Right now, I have no plans for Leo on my restart. Um, let me show you what I'm working with. And we can talk about where I might go with the account. Because like, I think it's an interesting question. On my restart... You know what? This is just going to be easier if I bring this march home. 
I'll show you using the uh, March screen, the presets, it's easier. Also, let's, let's just open some of this stuff. Whatever I can open here. 21 of these Crusader supply chests. Okay. Love it. I mean, I turn stone into things that are not stone, which is kind of a win, as far as I'm concerned. Some cave treasures. I should probably still be looking at these caves. Here are my marches. My game plan is to expertise whatever the new archer commander is and pair them with E-Song. Unless, like, they add an archer commander that does no skill damage, I'm going to lose my mind. I will actually just straight up lose my mind if they did that. Got it. Uh, that would just be crazy. So I'll do archer, new archer plus E-Song. That'll go over here. Depending on how I want to slice it, I could expertise Mina and do Nevsky Mina. Or if I want to spend sculptures, I could spend the sculptures and then I could do Nevsky William. But if I don't spend the sculptures, that would give me the option of then doing Nevsky Mina and putting the sculptures into like Leo. Then I could do Guan Leo and Trajan with CPO which would free up Ethel Fled and take her out of the lineup, which I feel like is a good thing. XY would be really good too, but I think I'd rather have the William. And I'd rather not spend any Universals if I can swing it and just have the Mina, even though he's not as good, probably. This march is just for barbing. This is not actually... I'm just using these four marches up here. I'm the biggest archer simp. If they release bad archers, I will quit. I'm not saying they would be bad. I'm just saying if they did a no skill damage, like Attila, Takeda equivalent for archers, it would be something, right? But I don't think they will. That's not... It's not likely. I think it's more likely they would do a circle AoE archer than they would release a no skill damage archer. You know? Favorite infantry march? I mean... Right over here. Here it is. Archers are only skill damage. I will not accept anything else. I am currently not playing on the PC version. The streaming is just so smooth. It's so smooth on the iPad. Another AoE Archer? I think it's very likely. I mean, dude, Archers are all about big AoE damage. I'm a big fan of your channel. I uh, want to ask. I'm in KVK1. I have Richard unlocked. Should I invest in him? I would wait for Alex or Esong, honestly. Is it Leo can only be paired with Guan? That that I feel is the problem with Leo. Is he's really optimally suited for Guan. There are other places where he's fine, probably. But like his match for Guan is so strong, it's just why would you do anything else? If you were bringing just one infantry march to the field, you would bring Guan and Sepio. No questions asked. AoE Silence. Plus AoE Health Reduction. Plus AoE Shielding. Plus Instant Proc Damage Over Time. Plus Synergy Against Silence Targets. Plus Synergy When Shielded. I mean, this is the one infantry march you bring if you're bringing only one for sure so there's really like no question that's the way right there okay 
Lucky Charms runs all archers. That's bold. That is bold, my friend. Why, uh, why did I have a merch from home? Right, I brought it home. GG. You remember that, cheesy pants? Okay. All I have left to do on my restart is a few canyon matches. With my brand new equipment, let's go. Some nice extra tankiness over here. Ooh, XY with Nevsky is a nasty combo. That is a nasty combo. And I think... Wow, how do I want to line up against this? CPO Alex up there? Jeez, I think I gotta do it this way. It's kind of awkward. I think I gotta burn through their CPO Alex. I can't just let that sit. Uh, it's a little awkward. Let's see how it goes. Your Guan is only 5 2 4 3. Hey, that's a good starting point. I need to run him with Leo. I think that's reasonable. I mean, I'd really... There's so many commanders I want to be using, man. I positioned my Nevsky very purposefully, by the way, so that my AoE would probably hit the E-Song over here with my Map Med. That was my goal. That was very intentional. Is Sacred Dominion worth it? I think it's good, but... You really need to make it if you're only going to go for a talent, you know? So a Sacred Dominion, that is Cav Sword, right? Because technically, talented set helmet and talented set weapon is better than untalented KVK weapon and untalented KVK helmet. So you should really only be making the Sacred Dominion and the Cav Helmet if you intend to fine until you talent it. I'm not saying that it needs to be like your immediate priority. I'm just saying like you, you do that with the intention of going for a talent and refining if you need to. What's the first mightiest governor commander someone new to the season of conquest should be going for? I think Sepio or Nevsky. That's where you want to be. Dude, I'm gonna shred that Guan Alex off lane. That is not I don't think that's where you want Guan Alex to be. But they got a very tanky front line up in here. Sheesh. How do I want to handle their tanky front line here? Um The problem is that they have Richard over here, so if I don't DPS through that thing, it's just gonna heal a lot. So I think I gotta DPS through the Richard. This this is gonna hurt. I think the saving grace is actually that I'm going to win the offland fight. And when I win the offland fight, it's going to help me a lot, but I could be wrong. Let's see how it actually plays out. You're already counting on having both Sepio and Nevsky. This is the way. I made a video very recently about, like, what are the best commanders to work on when you get to Season of Conquest. But, you know, you're looking at CPO and Nevsky and Guan Yu, and then from there, you just have a lot of options. In case you don't like the new Archer Commanders, will you go for Gilga or Leo? Uh, if the new Archer Commanders are for some reason no good, which seems unlikely. I mean, it, it seems like an impossibility to me. I guess at that point, I would go for probably Nebu. It would be Nebu or Cyrus that I would go for. 
Maybe Galga. Nah, probably Nebu or Cyrus. I really need some March speed on some archers. Esong doesn't have any. Um, I stack my DPS against the Alex Herald because I figure that's the kind of combo you need to DPS out rather than just let it sit there. But mm, I may not win this, actually. Oh, uh, no, I'm doing very well in top lane now. That really turned around in my favor. And then bottom lane, I'm doing well. And the off lane, I'm doing well. Yeah, I don't think his Esong Mehmed will beat my marches here, but man, their AoE is going to be really effective. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Do you see all that damage I just did with CJ? Good God. Okay. Hey, my Canyon team is getting pretty decent. Okay. Dude, my Canyon team and my restart's getting pretty decent. Uh, wow, that's a crazy lineup he's got here. I don't even know how I line up against this. Wow. I think I have to do it this way? Try to burn through those archers? This is gonna hurt. I feel new archers will be very OP. It's likely. Do I have a video on an early game canyon lineup? Um, check out my ultimate canyon guide. I made it when my restart was still in KVK season like three or two. So it'll give you, I think, uh, a good sense of what you could use. If you're already counting on having CPO and Nevsky, I think Guan Yu is like the next commander you make sure you have in a really good spot. All right, I think I got this one. Oh, dude, this team has been beating me for so long. I don't think I can beat that. Oh, my God. Constantine Richard. Dude, Barney's team has been very difficult. I think Flavius Trajan is so weird, though. I'm just going to try it. But, like, XY Nevsky, dude, Barney's team is sick. This, this team is really sick. Um... I think I try to DPS out his Trajan. I don't know. Hmm. This XY Nevsky is just going to beat the snot out of me, man. That is just a... I don't even know where, do I, where I line this up. It's just very awkward. This is going to be weird. Let's see how it works out. I think his commander depth here is just too much for me. And the XY Nevsky. I mean, that thing is just a freaking terror, bro. But I did really burn through his bottom lane shockingly fast in the Trajan. I, I might have him. I might have him here, actually. I think the problem is that he's got his Constantine Richard in the off lane. And if he had that in a front lane over here, it just would be a completely different story of how this map evolved. Best accessories for archers, ring and horn. But you want one web and one dagger in your lineup for sure. All right, I win this. Wow. Dude, my Canyon team is like night and day from where it used to be. This is actually kind of insane how much my restart has gone to the moon here. This is actually kind of insane. And these are all teams that were just shredding me. Like, before Season of Conquest. Okay. Um... I think I gotta line the damage up against the Richard. I can't just let that thing heal. And heal and heal and heal and heal. Here we go. 
Why the siege with Nevsky? So I talk about this in my ultimate canyon guide, but I'm controlling the position of my march by anchoring it with a slow siege unit. So bottom lane, I'm doing really well. Top lane, I'm probably losing, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to win bot lane. And I'm going to win the off lane. Okay, yeah, I got this. Cool. One more. Mandalorian. Pretty sure this dude has been beating me. XY Nevsky. Oh, baby. Why don't I have any archers in my lineup? Um, because I'm just waiting for meta archers. Although, in my canyon lineup, this is Ethel E Song. So I do have an archer in here. Ethel E Song. This is really very, very linchpin DPS march for this lineup. You'll notice that the Ethel E Song just does a lot of damage to a lot of marches. Can I let this bottom lane? Oh, God, this is a disaster. What a tough situation. Do I DPS through his top lane? Or do I try to just punch through the Constantine with Trajan before they stack up too much? I think I try to punch through, but I also think this might not be the right choice and I'm going to lose. Yeah, when the Siege dies, it counts as all calves. That's exactly right. Here we go. My top lane's about to get the snot kicked out of it. I'm just kind of hoping I can DPS through. Oh, God. My top lane is really getting sauced. But I did punch through the Trajan really quickly. In the same way, you kind of punched through mine. Oh, I mean, that might be favoring me, actually. I think I'm now favored here. Dude, that new Hope Cloak and Iconic stuff on uh, Guan is looking really, 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 really good. Dude, Hope Cloak is so good. Dang. That Hope Cloak gave me so much tankiness. Woo. Ice, cheers to you in 306, man. See you in zone five. Yeah, you guys are going to be tough. I don't know how we're going to pull off the win. You guys are insane. It's going to be fun. I'll tell you that. Okay. Wow. My canyon lineup is getting good on my restart. Okay. Wow. Pretty happy about that. Now the question is like, how can I get more materials? Like, I just want more materials. Can I get enough materials to make myself another Hope Cloak? Please. Please. I mean, I can get these. I might just do that. I don't need these accessory patterns on this account. What am I saving for? Nothing. Chat, do I have permission? Do you give me permission to spend all my currency? Do I have permission, please? Can I just do this? What would I be saving for? What am I saving for here? He's turning into Ward Addy Chad. Kinda. I don't think for this account I'm getting Persian Dream. I'd rather have the 5% infantry health for my three infantry marches. We just talked about that. Mats are great value. Permission denied. Yes, it's worth. Buy a horn. I mean, I'll still have enough currency to buy a horn. And I'm not going to have the materials to make a horn is the thing. Even if I bought the horn, I don't have the materials. I like horn. It's good. But I need the materials either way. Or I can even craft the sucker. War drums is better. I've heard that argument. I think I'm going mats here, baby. We did it. Bought the mats. I'll probably buy these discounted gold heads too, because like 50% off is kind of like, bruh. 
That's good. good deal. Now, how's my material situation looking? How much closer am I to crafting? Oh, I'm really close, actually. If I can straight forge these gloves, which I can, that means I'm like really close. I'm like five legendary materials away from being able to shred a, qu a quinsole and then craft the uh, hope cloak. I'm, a I'm actually like on the doorstep here. I'm actually on the doorstep. I don't know how to how to. I don't know how I can get more materials at this point, though. What could I do? I mean, what what could I do here? Even if I dismantle these, I don't think that leather is even required for a hope cloak. It is. I mean, it's a tiny amount of materials, but... You know what I need to do? You know what I need to do? And I'm going to do this anyways. I need to go smash just a ton of barbs. That's what I need to do. I need to go smash a ton of barbs. VIP shop. I could do VIP shop, but I think I would do that maybe as a last resort before the pass opens, right? Because I feel like doing things like Holy Knight's Treasure is just better value. Right? You are not wrong that I could dismantle some blue equipment and then reforge it later. That's like super reasonable. You know, it's a little gold intensive, but reasonable. But I think I need to smash a lot of barbs anyways. And I think just running around like a crazy person hitting barbs, I will get the materials. That's how I'm going to do it. That That's how I think I'm going to do it. Um, by the way, do you want to see me use uh, a ton of these maps? How many maps do I have? Pass them. Think you should pop 50 of these maps? Or maps, rather? Does that sound fun? What happens if you do 50 maps all at once? You ever done this? Huh? Huh? Do it? Hey, Chiss. I have crit dagger. Normal web and coin. Which two should I put on my Guan CPO March? You should put coin. Well, if assuming that you're going to bring some other March, put your web on the other March and put dagger coin on your Guan CPO. Fifty maps, what happens? Whoa man. Speed running the, the the fog clearing here. Okay. That's kinda cool. Four thousand five hundred and eighty one blocks of fog cleared. Seems good, right? <laughs> I think I'm going to save the rest of my maps and then use all my maps at the start of the next KVK. That sounds crazy. I'm into that. I'm, I'm going to save them for the next KVK and then pop them all. That's what I'm going to do. And I, I think it makes sense for me to do that just because like right now, I happen to have the time to do all this scouting. So I should just do the scouting. But in a KVK when I don't, I should just bust all those maps and just do it that way. Yeah. Get a couple of these caves on the way, maybe. It was live stream chat that kind of clued me into the fact that I should just go to caves on the way to my destinations, and you were definitely right about that. 
So I've been getting better and better about that when they're kind of on the way. Next KVK, there will be no fog. I mean, on this account, who knows? Who knows what KVK format will do? Heroic Anthem's kind of like the staple format, though, you know? Like, HA is a freaking classic. It's timeless. And that's largely because of the way Bastion skills work. You can do HA twice. You definitely can do HA twice, right? Did I do the... Um, no, I haven't done the Lost Canyon maps. Um, I'm not sure if I want to use those for patterns or maps, but probably I should just do the maps, shouldn't I? Like, do I really need those patterns? Probably not. Probably not. Right, like, I don't think I need any more Eternal Lights and Shio's Returns. It's just that, bro, if you are getting these, the value is just insane. Right? Like, there's nowhere else in the game that you could have either one blue material or three legendary pattern pieces. Like, it... But, but the thing is, like, do I really need this? And the answer is no. So I think for this account, maybe I just need to slow the roll on value, right? I mean, what do I got here? Five of these? <laughs> what do I got here? Three of those? Maybe I got to pump the brakes on that one. More farming accessories. You know, the right move. Yeah, I should just make more farming accessories, 100%. This is the way, you know? My friends, I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. I think I'm going to go grab some lunch. Definitely overdue for lunch. This was a really fun crafting session, and if you're hyped for this KVK, you should subscribe to the channel. Throw a like on here. I have got some... Awesome commander pairings that we're going to do battle with in less than a week's time. Next Wednesday, I think it is. I'll be streaming the pass opening. I'll double check that it's Wednesday. I think it's the 11th. I can double check that right now. The 11th. It's Wednesday, everybody. It's Wednesday. Oh, my God. I had a fun time hanging out with you all, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Topic to be determined. It's been good. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Friday. <laughs>